The first festival was in 1941, and uh, they had been having a Christmas parade here in Russellville for a number of years. The merchants would have a kickoff for Christmas shopping just to get people excited and coming to town to buy things with that tobacco crop money that hopefully they had gotten or would be getting soon. Someone said, well, we just ought to tie in tobacco to of what we're celebrating, that it means so much to us here in the county. That was what the, the people lived on the rest of the year. On December the 7th, 1941, was when we entered World War II. The next year they had the festival, but it had some changes because no motor vehicles were allowed in the parade because they saved the gas didn't want to use gas for something trivial like a parade. <laughs> they had no monetary prizes. Everybody either got a war bond or war bond saving stamps. And uh, that was uh, the end of the two-year stretch of the parade because the war continued until 1947. 1957 was when it began again. We had begun to get industry here in Logan County, big industry that we had not had before. And uh, as they were looking at the history of the festivals we used to have and times were better then after the war, we ought to revive that. Oh, multiple changes have taken place. Uh, the, the kinds of activities that you have, races and uh, all sorts of concerts. You can think of the changes in the music that would have happened over <laughs> all these decades. And uh, it just as ideas came along, and if some events began to be not so popular, they would drop them and add new ones. Tobacco spitting contest, <laughs> pipe smoking contest. We used to have uh, special visitors like little Johnny Philip Morris that was a representative for a call for Philip Morris cigarettes. He was here for 12 different years and now he was a national figure. We have so many civic clubs, community clubs in Logan County that do good things all the time and they don't leave out the Tobacco and Heritage Festival. The homemakers have been involved for years. The Rotary Club and the Lions Club. I mentioned the uh, years when the drama was created and they would have productions and concerts that centered around the festival. I mean, we were an agricultural county we did become much more industrialized in Logan County uh, in the beginning in the 1950s. We say now we have a balance in agriculture and industry, so it's only proper if this is a celebration that uh, promotes our county and showcases what we do in Logan County, that we need to include everything, not just the, the agricultural products that were the highlight in its early history. Would you believe that there was a time when it was the third most important industrial city in the state of Kentucky? Now, what kind of industries would they have had? A rope factory, a wagon factory. I can remember one uh, industry that came here that said they wanted to come and hire the people who lived in the country because they knew that farm men and women knew how to work. Our agriculture and our industry have all, of course, evolved. We don't have nearly as many different farms, but we have farms that produce even more today. We have to recognize that it takes all of us together to get lots of things done. The total county participates in it. Although Russellville is the county seat and that's where the festival is held mainly, there may be events in all of the small towns and communities throughout the, uh, the county. There are other festivals in surrounding communities, but our Tobacco and Heritage Festival is one of the biggest that's in this area. I just hope it will continue to be diversified 
and will meet the accomplishments and the interests of the persons who live here. I see how important history is. If we know what happened in the past, it gives us a foundation on which to build or improve or whatever the case may be. Uh, if we don't know our past, we'll continue to make mistakes that have been made. The uh, ingenuity of each generation is different and we need to sometimes discard what's old and come along with something new. But I hope that our history will never be wiped out.